Hello everybody, it's Jen. I am using the Making Frosted Friends by Lawn Fawn and I could not find the stamp set when I went to shoot this card construction video. I'm using this uh, sentiment from Kelly Perky's Yeti stamp set that came out last year and then I'm also using paper from Doodlebug's Frosty Friends to make this card as well. So I'm using this piece of paper from the paper pad which has snowmen all over it and I'm going to be cutting out a number of circles from, I believe this is Simon Says Stamp, their circle dies. So I'm using a mixture of cardstock and paper from the paper pad. Here's the sentiment that I'm using from the Kelly Perky set. I'm going to heat emboss that using some Simon Says Stamp white detailed embossing powder. And it just says, um, sending you warm wishes. So I'm going to be popping the front of the card up on foam adhesive, but I want to get these circles into place before I do that. So I'm going to put the sentiment one down there, the blue paper in the left corner, and the purple paper up on the top right hand corner. And then I'm going to start adhering the images to the card. So I'm not worried about how I'm placing them because as I said, I'm going to be using foam adhesive. So it doesn't matter that the little snowman is um, going onto the bottom of the card base. And I'm going to adhere the images down. A little tricky as I'm trying to make sure I get them in the right place. So I wanna get that little snowman arm on and then I wanna stick the little broom under his hand so it looks like he's holding it. I'm going to get that other arm on and then I'm going to work on the little snowman for the bottom left hand corner and I'm just going to pop him that way and I just had to trim a little bit of him off so that he didn't stick out on the bottom of the card. I'm just using a A2 size card base here. I thought I was going to put the little um, scarf there and at the last minute, you see me here, I decide that I wanted the blue up on the top to bring the blue up. So I decided to put him on the bigger snowman. And so I was trying to find the other arm for this little guy. I don't know what happened to it. I guess one of the cats got up on the craft desk and it got knocked around, but I couldn't find it. So I just decided to put the mittens on without the little arms and I think that turned out fine. So I think this card is adorable for a little winter warm wishes. Um, so I'm going to get that on and then I'm going to move on to putting the little birds with the sentiment. So I put that one down there and then I thought I was done so I went ahead and put the foam adhesive on the back of the front panel. I'm going to stick that down. I find this is a bit tricky to get it perfect, um, but I got it pretty close, so I was pretty happy with that. I do have to fiddle around with it a little bit here at the bottom, um, but I do get it into place and get that adhered down nicely. And then after looking at it, I decided I wanted to bring this other little bird here to this side, so it's peeking out of that side, just to kind of fill up that circle a little bit more. So I'm going to use some Spectrum Noir glitter brush marker here, just to make those snowmen extra sparkly. And then I'm going to use a Wink of Stella silver glitter brush pen for the carrot noses, and then I decide to go over that with some silver stickles, just to make it a little bit more shiny. I'm not really partial to orange noses just one of those weird things that I have. Um, and then this card is done. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like and then show you the close-ups. And I did have a Color With Me video prior to this if you wanna see how I colored the images. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye.